hello everyone welcome to a new video sorry i've been a little bit mia these days i've just been kind of out of it i have no real excuse but i am back and today i have a video that uh it's actually a reveal so i just got a bag and i'm going to go ahead and show you which bag i got so let's get straight into today's video also apparently it's been so long that i forgot to introduce myself hi in case you're new my name is linda i do post about fashion if you're into sort of, uh, i can't talk today i can't if you're into that sort of thing then please do consider subscribing to my channel so we can be friends it's not meant to be it's not meant to be um what do i say after that oh my god this is, this is just an awful start this is why i've been gone for so long like i said i'm so off my dogs agree <laughs> try that again take two if you're new here my name is linda i do post about fashion so if you're into that sort of thing please do consider subscribing so we could be friends and if you're not new then thank you so much for watching my videos so let's get straight into today's video okay so this is a bag that it's just i feel like i'm meant to have it at this point because i tried to get rid of it and it just finds its way back to me it is the Speedy, the Louis Vuitton Speedy, such a classic bag. I feel like it's uh, most people's first bag when they start entering the world of luxury um, because it is one of the more affordable of like the higher end bags. So obviously if you go into Louis Vuitton, you can find bags for about five grand, whereas the Speedy is just roughly over one, something like that, I forget. But I had the Speedy 30, the one without the bandolier and it was just a little too big for me and i felt like i don't know i just i wasn't really using it much i took it on like one or two trips just because it fits so much but it just it wasn't really my vibe i guess you could say and so finally i sold it and i did buy the organizer for it so it like helped keep its shape so it was never like squishy like other speedies without the organizer it actually did have its shape and the organizer had pockets and all that so it was really good and i sold it including the organizer and then i ended up getting the same speedy same size and everything but in this fabric and honestly i love it so much more because the one i had was the damier ben which is canvas so it was like a lot heavier not heavy but it was just sturdier than this this on the other hand i feel like it's like nothing it's so packable and it weighs like nothing and i just love it this is like my pretty much one of my vacation bags especially if i'm going somewhere where i'm kind of worried i might get robbed or something i feel like this is one that I, i'm not too terrified to have versus like a chanel bag or something like that and then you can tell i was traveling with it because it has like my bum bag inside it fits so much like just to show you guys it has um, my headphones for the airport, like all my airport essentials, everything's in there. Such a great bag. And because of that, I was like, you know what? Let me give Speedies another shot. And that brings us to today. So I just received this bag in the mail and I'll tell you the story behind this one in particular. I'll show it to you too, of course. This would be the Speedy, I believe it's a 25. It's smaller than the 30, so I believe it's a 25. And it's the B, the bandolier. So it did cost a little bit more because it does have the little ring for it and the strap for it. And it's Damier Ben again, just like my old one. But I like that this one is smaller. And I wasn't necessarily seeking this bag out. What had happened was my sister, being the wise, mature, healthy person that she is, decided to downgrade her collection and so she took a look at what bags she's not using that much and decided to sell them and she's selling them at the price she paid she's not selling it at the current price because current prices anyone out there that shops at louis knows that it has had several increases every single single year which is insane like i don't know why they're doing that like it's ridiculous like the prices are just through the roof especially for louis like of all the brands they were the one that they were a little bit more affordable so now it's pretty much not like not at all and so i was very fortunate that my sisters are selling everything at cost so a bunch of family members are pretty much just buying everything that she no longer wants and the great thing is is she hardly used any of it 
So I just thought that was such a healthy thing to do for her to just part with things that she's not loving as much. And one of them was the Speedy. Uh, she never bought an organizer for it. She never really, I think she wore it one time, maybe. And that was like right after we bought it because I was with her when she bought it. And so as you can see, it's, I mean, even a, a used Speedy is going to look brand new. But this one really, you can tell she never wore it. Everything is intact. There's absolutely no scratches on the hardware at all. And so I think I paid very like little compared to what it goes for now. Probably half of what this, okay, maybe not half, but I definitely didn't pay like what it's going for now. Not even close. So I'm very grateful for that. And that was kind of part of the reason why I decided to buy it because I'm thinking, you know, she's getting rid of things that are classic and maybe she's not getting that much use out of but I do love the Speedy so I feel like I'm going to use this one a lot more than I used the 30. The 30 it just was way too big for me and just to show you the size difference like this one because it's fabric does not look as big as the canvas Speedy but it's definitely like, this feels so much smaller. I feel like it also goes more with, like, my body size and all that. So I'm excited to use this. And then what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did for my other Speedy, which was by the organizer. I bought mine, I think, either on Amazon or on Etsy. That's where I tend to buy a lot of things for my bags, like um, extra straps and things like that. Like, just the fun ones. I buy inserts, all of that stuff, Etsy usually. I think the only thing I bought from Amazon might have been my last organizers so i'm just gonna go ahead and go on there again and buy that maybe a little bag charm dress it up a bit maybe i have a few louis twillies that i might just put on it too so yeah i'm pretty excited and i just i feel like it's so funny like the bag that kind of got away and then it came back like twice like neither time did i necessarily plan it it just kind of happened and i'm gonna see what else my sister's selling because i know she's selling i think a few chanel bags and several louis as well i don't think she's selling any of her gucci i actually funny enough i think she bought most of her gucci's from me so i really don't think she's gonna be selling them because i gave her like a pretty good deal on them but yeah so i'm excited to wear this little baby that wraps up today's video if you liked it please do give it a like and i will see you all for the next video everyone stay safe bye uh -huh.